Hello guys, this is Mauro from Brinfotech.com and on this video we'll be look at the new features and changes included on the Windows 10 built 16.193 and 16.188. This new test version of Windows 10 are part of the uh, fall creators update expected to release in September 2017. So let's have a closer look at the uh, most worthy changes on these past builds. So let me just jump right into the uh, settings up. Uh, some of the uh, new changes are happening on that area and now we're going to see that we have a new uh, section for Cortana so Microsoft is migrating all the um, uh, all the settings that used to be found on the uh, Cortana's app uh, so now they're located on the uh, settings app so it will make it a lot easier for users to uh, configure this experience if you open Cortana you will still see the uh, gear button to open the uh, settings but it will just open the settings app on the uh, Cortana settings so let me just write uh, so let me just um, go into the uh, Cortana section and now we're going to see uh, four different pages uh, the first one is, uh, is called talk to Cortana and now we're going to see basically all the same settings nothing else has been added right now and as you can see now you can as you can see here you can you can change uh, you as you can see here you can configure your microphone and turn on and off the uh, hey Cortana feature you can uh, enable or disable the um, uh, the keyboard shortcut to uh, open Cortana on listening mode or uh, enable the um, uh, Cortana on the uh, lock screen you can also change the language if in if you need to do uh, if you need to do that then we just jump to permission and history uh, we have a few changes these are a few links that takes you to some of the um, additional settings for for Cortana uh, it seems that right now not every single setting has uh, been migrated to the settings app as we, as we can see right now we uh, when we click the um, the uh, change what Cortana knows about me in the cloud it will still open Cortana so you can read that information and if you need to clear your data you still need to come to uh, Cortana to uh, clear that information uh, we also have the uh, manage the information Cortana access uh, from this device this will open this page where you can control uh, location and this um, this option for uh, contacts emails calendar and communication history you can enable and disable that if you don't want Cortana to uh, to uh, suggest reminders and you can also uh, enable or disable the uh, browsing history if we click the uh, manage information Cortana access from another device that also will open um, the uh, connected devices uh, settings page inside of Cortana that still hasn't been uh, added into the um, into the settings app and we also have a few other settings that, we, uh, that you can configure uh, such as the uh, uh, safe search so you can configure the filters and you also have the uh, history here so like if you want uh, to improve the on device search using app settings and and other history uh, when you're signing on devices you can enable and disable that right here or you can also enable and disable uh, your search history if we jump into notifications there is not much going on in there but you can enable and disable if you want to uh, get uh, some notifications between devices and if we click the uh, manage notification button also it's going to open the uh, Cortana um, uh, the Cortana user interface where you can um, uh, control the notifications from there then on more details there is not much going on on this page uh, just that you're going to see some links to privacy statements and to uh, manage other personal information settings uh, like the uh, Windows privacy options you would just open the uh, um, the privacy settings sections in the settings app and here the uh, get details on how Cortana works with Bing and, uh, on searching so if you click that that's going to open Microsoft Edge with some information so that's the uh, new Cortana uh, settings inside of the uh, settings app and then and then there is not much going on right now 
on the um, on the settings up other than when you go to uh, network and internet on data usage and we click overview and inside this page now we get a button to reset the uh, usage uh, stats if that's something that you need and that's pretty much what's uh, new on the uh, on the settings app you will also find a really a small tweak on the uh, task manager so now if you go to, if you open task manager and just right click the taskbar and then just open the task manager and then just go to details. Now you're going to notice that uh, this column right here has been renamed from background uh, moderated to power throttling. Uh, this is a new feature that Microsoft is starting to, uh, to Windows 10 that it would just uh, help to um, optimize the uh, battery life by uh, prioritizing how the uh, CPU and other resources are utilized by apps. So if you're uh, with this new feature, uh, you can expect about 11% more battery life on, on your mobile device. So another improvement we're going to be seeing on the uh, full creator subject, it's happening on the volume mixer that now includes uh, volume controls for Windows Store apps. So for example, if you have open Groove and then and you're listening to music and you just wanna control the, uh, the volume for Groove, now you can uh, just um, control the volume right from the uh, volume mixer without affecting um, the, uh, uh, the system volume. All right, so uh, now let's move on. On the uh, Windows 10 Fall Creators Update, Microsoft is also including a new experience called Studio Remix on the uh, on the Photos app, and this is a feature that allows you to uh, create videos uh, using photos and other videos on your collection. And the uh, the app also uses uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence to automatically tag your content, uh, so it can be easily searchable, and it it will also uh, automatically create uh, video stories which you can. Uh, keep, uh, delete, or, or just modify it uh, to any way you like. So this will appear on the uh, on the Photos app, and this is like an early preview. And as you can see now, this is the uh, the Photos app, and then now we have a new uh, section called Create, where you can just uh, create a new story. And let me see if I can just. Add photos and videos. I'll leave just a, a few photos. Let me just add these three and just click add. And then from here, we can just click watch, uh, watch the story button to, to see just a slideshow, or you can edit this, click the every story. And this is how the um, interface for Historia Remix looks like. Let me see if I can get this working. Just gonna add one more. And I'm just going to add something really quick. If you want to extend duration, you can see that the duration is at three seconds each, but you can uh, change that, you can add filters. Let's see if we just do this, click done, and you can also add motion, and just click done, and now, so here we can see a preview, I'm just gonna click play, and as you can see now we have the preview right here and now like you can also add music from Groove and you can also uh, export this or share it to uh, Twitter, Facebook or other social medias and that's pretty much or, or even you can even share this on on YouTube so basically this is a remake 
of the uh, Windows Movie Maker and it looks very promising. This is still in the early stages, so we're expecting that uh, it will get it will get better with time. On Windows 10 build 16.188 and Windows 10 build 16.193, now we're starting to uh, see more and more of the uh, uh, new Microsoft Fluent uh, Design System, which was previously known as the uh, uh, Project Neon. And it is just a system that brings translucent, blur, and animation effects uh, to Windows 10 and apps to make things a little bit uh, prettier. Uh, so now, if for example, if you open the um, uh, calculators app, you will now see these uh, new effects. So like if I move around, you can see that uh, you can still see a little bit of the background, but it's all blurred out. And we got some translucent too. And also, we're going to see some of the, this new uh, Fluent Design on, on Group Music. You're also going to see that. As you can see, the effects uh, while I'm hovering over the, uh, uh, the elements. And another app that uh, includes um, the uh, part of the uh, new Fluent Design, it's on uh, Maps, for example. Let me see if I can open it. also see some of uh, these new elements when you uh, do a search as you can see right here and also on the uh, paint 3d app we're going to see some of the uh, new uh, fluent design as you can see like if I move this around, you can see it's uh, uh, the toolbar is a little bit translucent and we got the blur. Uh, but this is still a work in progress. So uh, by the time that um, uh, Microsoft implement this, uh, it's going to look much better and it's going to take um, some time to uh, sp spread out across uh, the operating system. Now let's just jump into Microsoft Edge because the uh, web browser for Windows 10 has been updated with a new PDF uh, reader, which now allows you to uh, fill out PDF based form and you can save it and print it as needed. Uh, you can also annotate. You've been able to annotate web pages for a long time using Microsoft Edge, but now it's available for uh, PDF files. So for example, if I want to edit this, uh, some annotations let's just change the color right here and you can do your annotations you can save it you can share it the um, on the new PDF reader you also have a table of contents so if you have a long PDF that supports a table of content you can just uh, open that up and just jump right into uh, that content as you can see that I'm doing right here and you can also uh, have a new options to rotate the PDF, which, which is going to come in handy when you're dealing with uh, scan PDF files. And we also have a, a new layout option that allows you to change the layout from one to uh, two pages. And you can also show cover page separately if that uh, if that is supported. Or if you have a longer uh, PDF reader, you can also use the uh, uh, continuous uh, scrolling option right there. Also on Microsoft Edge there is a new feature called uh, Windows Defender Application Guard which was originally announced last September but on Windows 10 and build 16188 uh, you will get a preview of this new feature. Uh, this is meant for the Enterprise Edition of Windows 10 and it basically uh, creates an isolated session of the uh, Microsoft Edge browser using a lightweight virtual machine which helps to prevent malware from infecting your computer when browsing the web. So if you're using the Enterprise Edition of Windows 10 uh, with Hyper-V enable and then if you turn on, let me show you, if you turn on the um, the uh, feature, the uh, Windows Defender application card, 
then you just uh, once you install this it will like right now I'm using the uh, Windows 10 professional so even if I do this the uh, the feature will not appear on Microsoft Edge but once you install this and you restart your computer you can let me show you really quick that you will get a new when you click the uh, uh, the menu option on Microsoft Edge you will get a new a new item called new application guard window and then you will get uh, a window like this and you can start browsing the web without having to worry that if you go to uh, a website that it's um, that has a malware or something's not working right it will not affect your computer once you close that everything gets deleted and your computer will not be be affected by anything so there you have it guys um, this that's pretty much all that is new on the uh, Windows 10 bill 16188 and 16193 part of the uh, uh, full creative update that we're expecting in September and remember to like the video uh, share it and leave your comments and I just hope this video was informative for you and I uh, to thank you for viewing